Hi guys, and I'm going to be testing the new Badger Ranger paints, uh, the Minotaur Ranger paints today. And uh, this is my first time actually using them on a miniature, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm especially uh, looking forward to trying out the ghost tints. I've seen some really cool videos uh, recently, so I uh, can't wait to get stuck in. Uh, so the first thing I'm doing here is I'm laying down some Raven Black. Uh, for some of the pre-shading lines now you'll notice guys that some of my lines are really sloppy I'm, I'm really rushing here guys I mean as you see this is not going to be a finished model it's uh, just to test to see how the the paints are going to uh, work for me and how they're going to uh, uh, look the, the size of these uh, Rhino doors uh, are not going to waste guys these are actually left over from a Forge World uh, Predator kit so if you're actually working on the Mark 1 Rhino or the Predator kit don't uh, throw away those splare plastic doors they really come in handy anytime you want to try out a new paint scheme or you're looking to try a new effect those left over uh, doors are just perfect to try new things out on with the pre-shading lines that I'm trying to lay down here guys, I'm following all the uh, panels uh, so anywhere that I see a recess I'm putting down a, a nice black line. Although you might see uh, sometimes I'm spilling over the edge, it's not crucial for this test today. But if you're actually doing it on a, a proper model you'd want to take more care than I'm doing here. Also a second ago you would have seen me lay down a fine black mist towards the bottom third of the tank. That's to help things pop a little later on when we add the uh, ghost tin. So now I'm going to be adding some white. This is to add some uh, extra highlights. So what I do here is anywhere that I see a raised surface or an area on a panel where it's going to be falling away from a shadow actually uh, hit it with a school white colour there just to make things pop a little uh, more so again I'm creating a false highlight some of those stray uh, black lines that look a little messy at the bottom you could easily tidy up with the uh, school white here or you could actually go back in with your primer grey colour if you wanted to but uh, as I say there's no real need to uh, for this test. I'm laying down more school white here guys. Again if you can pick it up on the camera you'll see that any area where it's raised or it's falling away from the shadow it's just getting hit with a bit of that school white. Also, you may have noticed a second ago I was sweeping the airbrush from right to left from quite far away in the top third of the tank. That's so that you'll see a natural progression from the top of the tank where it's light. As it gets further down the tank it's going to get darker. It's going to have a really nice effect when we start laying down the ghost tint. Guys, I've fully got to apologise here. Absolute classic. I forgot to hit the record button as I was laying down the very first pass of the uh, purple ghost tint there. And uh, you've caught me and uh, I've already laid down a, a nice coat. And what I'm doing here is just laying down several coats of that purple ghost tint to make the colour really pop. And as you can see, the purple does just that. It really pops. The vibrancy and saturation of these tints is just fantastic. They are left with like a sort of like a high uh, sheen finish. So I needed to knock that back with some satin varnish. And this is the overall uh, look. So after the ghost tint had dried and I laid down the satin varnish, this is the overall effect. Here I'm going to be testing the ghost tint green colour. I want to try and aim for a dark angel's green. So as you can see the first pass goes down and everything's looking a little light and a little pale. And you can actually maybe just do a couple of passes here and you could probably say it's actually a salamander's chapter. But I'm sort of aiming more so for uh, dark angels. So I'm coming back in with several more passes. If I'm completely honest guys, this is the first time I've used these uh, ghost tints and it's not gone exactly to plan. 
rather than actually using the white colour there for the highlights I should have gone with much deeper blacks and only stuck to using grey for the highlights and that would have given me a much deeper green colour but again I'm just experimenting so you'll see the overall end results not as dark a green as I wanted it to be but I'm sure in future I'll, uh, I'll learn my lesson next time and I'll start with a much deeper pre-shading for a dark angels colour scheme I could have however kept going over with the ghost tints it's so thin you're not going to obscure any detail but what would have ha happened eventually is all that pre-shading uh, that I actually added and the highlights would have been lost as I kept adding more layers of the ghost tints so going back to what I said a second ago I know in future that I've got to go for a much deeper darker colour to get a nice dark angels colour scheme so from the limited range of the paints that I've tried in the minute air range I've got to say guys I'm really impressed I can't give you a full review of all the paints as I've not tried them so that would be very false of me but as you can see from the paints that I've actually used today they give brilliant results the ghost tints are a pleasure to work with because as you're actually laying them down you've got full control of how much of that pre-shading actually shows through whereas if you was using a regular acrylic colour it's a lot more difficult to control the actual paint that lies underneath I'd like to do a full tutorial in future on a completely built tank I'd also like to ask you guys what colour should I actually paint the chapter could be I don't know ultramarines <laughs> one of my first uh, painted armies or it could be dark angels or any other color scheme so put a, a comment in the comment box below on what you want to see guys and I'll definitely keep that in mind thanks for watching guys don't forget to rate comment subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one